All right, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Kelsey from PC Fit. Uh, we're going to start down in a child pose. Down in a child pose today. So on your mat, knees nice and wide. Connect your big toes together if that feels comfortable. And then I want you to sit your hips back towards your heels and allow your chest to just gravitate towards the floor. Now, if you're feeling really, really tight, you can make a pillow with your knuckles, with your hands, and create a pillow for your forehead here. Or you can rest it against the floor here as well. If you want to bring your knees a little bit closer in, if you're feeling really tight, specifically through knees and low back, that's a great option. But we're going to find child's pose here and just stay here for a few, about five breath cycles. So you're inhaling and big exhales, either nose or mouth, your preference here. And inhaling and exhaling. And with every exhale, just allowing your body to sink deeper into your mat. Inhaling and exhale, release. Two more times, inhale and exhale. Last one, inhaling in and exhale. Good, let's bring yourself up to all fours. So your four point kneeling position, wrists under the chest, about shoulder width apart, knees underneath your hips. Cat cow, so we're gonna inhale, let your belly hang, lift your sternum. Exhale, flex and tuck under, rounding up. Inhale, lengthen away. And exhale, flex and tuck. And I just want you to continue to move with your breath here. Fan your fingers out nice and wide. Allow your chin to fall towards your chest as you protract your shoulders here at the top. Just allowing movement through your spine. Tuck your hips and your tailbone under on your cat. Two about five more here. Dispersing your body weight through all five fingers here. So fanning out your fingers nice and wide. Two more big ranges of motion. One more. And we rest. Now from this position here again, just curl your toes under. Lift your upper body up and then press back, finding your first down dog. We're going to stay here for five breaths, making sure that your fingers are continuing to be fanned out. Your ears in line with your biceps and your heels are just gravitating towards the floor. So take a big inhale here and a strong exhale. Four more times, inhaling in, and exhaling, lifting your tailbone high, chest gravitating towards the floor, inhaling in, and exhale. Two more times, inhaling in, and exhale. One more time, inhale in, and exhale. Good, eye gaze goes towards your hands, step or hop your feet into a forward fold. Staying here for another five breaths. So if you want, you can go more red doll if you want to grab your elbows, or you can just let your fingertips kind of sit, stay on the floor. Inhaling into your nose, and exhaling, perhaps sinking a little bit deeper. Inhaling in, and exhaling. Three more breaths, inhale, and exhale. Two more, allow your chin to fall towards your chest. And exhale. One more, inhaling in. And exhale. Good, inhale, stay at the bottom. Exhale, twist and rotate one arm up and away. And then inhale, set it down. Exhale, your opposite. Inhale, set it down. Just keep going with your breath here, twisting and rotating. Soften your knees as needed. Three more each side. Exhale, reach. Inhale, releasing down. Exhale, reach. Inhale, releasing down. Two more. And last one each. And pause here at the bottom. 
On your next inhale, take it to a halfway lift. So lengthen away from your spine. Chest is good and tall. And then exhale, returning back down to your forward fold. Now, if your feet and ankles aren't zipped together, scoot them in next to each other. And then let's bring yourself up, finding your chair pose. So I want you to zip your knees and ankles together. Here's what it looks like here from the front. Reaching your arms forward. You can always have hands at heart center or reach your arms up towards the ceiling, whichever is comfy. Take an inhale here at the top. Exhale, reach your arms away behind you. And then inhale, returning back up. Exhale, reach behind you. Inhale, returning back up. Three more times. Two more. Last one. And sink and hold. Can you sink a little bit deeper for me here? Get your knees and ankles together. Going into sun salutation A. And I'm going to add some lateral flexion in here as well. So we're going to inhale, stand and reach. Exhale, lean to one side. Inhale, center. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale, center. Reach tall. Now exhale, dive forward. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Hands down, step back to your high plank, and let's pause here for a few breaths. Check your form. Shoulders are stacked over the wrist. You can have one or both knees down. Body's in one long line from the crown of your head to your knees or to your ankles, depending on your position. Drawing your belly button in. Now take an inhale at the top. Exhale, hug your elbows in and lower yourself slowly all the way down to the floor. Flip the feet and then inhale, lifting up softly through mid-back. Your cobra. Draw your shoulder blades together, expanding through your chest. And then lower yourself down, curl the toes under, press yourself up and back, finding down dog. You always have the option of pedaling through your heels if you want a little movement. Or you can just stay static in your down dog pose. Breathe. Eye gaze towards your hands. Step or hop your feet into your forward fold. Inhale, stand in reverse. And exhale, find chair. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, lean to one side. Inhale, center. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale, center, reach tall. Exhale, we dive. Hinging forward through the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Hands down. Step or hop back. Pause in your plank here, gang. Breath here, drawing your belly button in. Finding your long, beautiful, long line. Inhale at the top. Exhale, slowly lower yourself down. Hug your elbows in. Now, cobra or up dog. Up dog, strong glutes. Not just letting your hips sink through your abdominals, quads, glutes. And then press yourself up and walk. Strong dog. Eye gaze towards your hands. Step or hop your feet into a forward fold. Inhale, stand in reverse. And exhale, find chair. Two more times. We're going a little bit quicker. Inhale, arms. Exhale, lean to one side. Inhale, center. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale, center. Blow tall. And then exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Hands down. Step or hop back. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Cobra or up dog. Press yourself up and back. Eye gaze towards the hands. Step or hop your feet in. Reverse your swan dive. And find your chair. Last time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, we lean. Inhale, center. And exhale, opposite. Inhale, center, grow tall. And then exhale, diving forward. Hinging through your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step or now hop back. Inhale to pop. Lower your chest Cobra or up dog. Press yourself up and back. Step or hop your feet into your forward fold. Reverse your swan dive. And pause in your chair. Good. Pause in your chair, sinking down. You should be feeling warmer. Going into our arm presses, just like we did earlier. Take an inhale. Exhale, scoop the arms back. Inhale, reach them up. Exhale, scoop them back. Inhale, reach them up. Great for shoulder mobility here. 
Nice big range of motion. Two more times. One more time. And hold. Think a little bit deeper if you can. Good. Let's inhale, stand, reach. Exhale, we lean to one side. Inhale, center. Exhale, opposite. Inhale, center, reach and tall. And then we're going to dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Hands down. Step or half back plank. Option to flow. Lower yourself down. Cobra or up dog. Press up and back. Now stay here in your down dog feet. Stand your fingers out. Tuck your forearms. Here's in line with your biceps. You press back. Right foot stays planted. Pick up your left foot. Three like a dog. Now we're going to reach high. Put a big puppy tug with your big toe. Lengthen away. And then we're going to take it knee to nose. So take an inhale. On your exhale, draw knee to nose. And then press it back to your three like a dog. Two more times. Knee to nose. And press it back. One more time. Knee to nose. Press it back. Pause here at the top. Now step your left foot through. Drop your back foot and raise up for warrior one. So make sure you can see your toes here, gang. If they're short, somewhat square, see your toes and your back heel is planted. Leg is long. You can scoot your back leg in if you'd like as well. Good, beautiful. A few more breaths here in your warrior one. Getting into our sequence here now. Now we're gonna open up and go to warrior two on your right side. So right leg, making sure it's not caving in. It's right in line with your toes. Your left foot is parallel with your mat. Peel apart your arms, sink down. Now eye gaze right over your fingertips. Determination here, focus. Breathing. Stay low through your legs. Flip your foot, your palm up. Reverse your gaze. Reaching up. Eye gaze follows. Returning back to your warrior two. Reaching forward to the upper half and extended side angle. So one long line from your left hand to your left heel. You can always rest your arm on your leg where you can bring yourself all the way down. Your choice. As you stand, grab a hold of your right arm, straighten your right leg, and pull your arm up and away. Sky archer. So legs are long. Good, now float your hands down, straddling your right foot. Stay here in a low lunge. So your back foot, you're on the ball of your back foot. Stay nice and low. If you want, you can bring yourself even further down on the inside of your leg. Depends on how your body is feeling or you can drop your back knee as well. Now step your foot back. Let's find your high plank and we're flowing. Take an inhale, exhale, lowering down. Cobra or up dog and press yourself up and back. Nice. Same thing, other side is coming at us. Deep, deep breaths here in your down dog. Now lift your left foot up, three-legged dog. Reach it high, engaging your glutes, touch the cloud. Now let's go knee to nose three times. Inhale at the top. Exhale, drawing in. And then inhale, pressing back. Two more times, draw it in. Press it back. One more time. In. And press. Pause here at the top. And then step your right foot through. Drop your back heel. Lift yourself up, refine warrior one. Again, be mindful of your toes. Back heel is planted. And your foot is somewhat angled. Good. Always want proper form and alignment. Mm -hmm. 
Now opening up to our left side, pivot the feet. We find warrior two. So left foot square away, right foot angled with the back of your mat lining up. Sink down, watch your knee placement. Heel apart your arms, eye gaze right over your fingertips. Stay low, working as hard as you'd like to right now. Flip your left palm up, reverse your gaze, stay low through your legs, lifting up. Continuing your breathing. Returning back to warrior two. Reach forward through your upper half and extended side angle. One long line, big reach, or you can pop your elbow. Good. Now straighten your left leg, grab your right left arm and pull away, sky archer. Lift away. And then straddle your left foot with your hand, finding your low lunge. Remember, you're on the ball of your back foot. You can bring the hands to the inside if you want to sink a little bit deeper. This is about as far as I can go. And then step your left foot back to plank. Inhale at the top. Exhale, we lower down. Cobra or up dog. Press yourself up and back. Stay here for a few breaths. Down dog, or if you always need a break, you can find your child's pose. All right, let's pick up our left foot. Reach it high, three-legged dog. Take an inhale, exhale, knee to nose, three times. Three, press back, two, and we're gonna step your foot through, drop your back heel, Pressing up, warrior one. Can you see your toes? You should be able to see your toes in front of your left knee. And open to your right, manipulate your feet. Right foot, right off to the side, angled. And we find warrior two, sinking down, strong arms. Now reverse and eye gaze goes up. Returning back to warrior two, shift forward, extended side angle, however you want it. Good, keep your spine long. And straighten your right leg, grab your right arm, pull up and away, sky archer. Lengthen through your rib cage. Float your hands down, straddling your right foot. Low lunge, pause here, let the hips sink. And press back to your plank. Option to flow, inhale at the top. Exhale, we lower. Cobra or up dog. And exhale, we press up and back. Big deep breath. All right, let's pick up your right foot. Reach it high. And knee to nose three times. We draw it in and back and in and back. One more time. And step your right foot through. Drop the back heel. Lift yourself up, warrior one. Good. Check your alignment. Strong arms. Opening up, we find warrior two your right side, strong arms, and reverse, eye gaze up, back to warrior two, shift forward, extended side angle, straighten your left leg, grab your left arm, sky archer, pull up and away. Float your hands down, straddling your left foot. Stay here for a few breaths. Opening up to your hips, back is straight. And go out and step your foot back to plank. Inhale at the top, exhale, lower down. Cobra up dog. Press up and back. And breathe. We're gonna go through this one more time. Just a little bit quicker. Doing great. Let's pick up your left foot, reach it high. 
call me to know right away. Here's three. Press it back. Two. Fingers are wide. And step your foot through. Drop your back heel. Warrior one. Grow. Lift. And pivot to your opposite side. Warrior two. Strong arms. Nice. Reverse your warrior. Flip your palm up. And float the hands down, extended side angle. Straighten your right leg, grab your right arm, lift away, sky archer. Float your hands down, straddling your foot, low lunge. And then step your foot back to high plank, option to flow, lower down, cobra up dog. Pulsing up and back. Couple breaths here. All right, let's lift up your right foot and knee to nose three times. Three, and big press. Two, one more. And step it through. Drop your back heel, lifting up. Warrior one. Nice job, everyone. Rotating to the other side for warrior two. Eye gaze over your fingertips, reverse your warrior, flip it up. And extended side angle. Reach. Straighten your left leg. Grab your hand. Lift up and away, Sky Archer. And float your hands down. Low lunge. Step back to plank. Last time flowing, I promise. Lower yourself down. Over, up, dog. And press yourself up and back. Let's take it to our knees. And we're going to find child's pose. You deserve it. Good job. Remember, you can have your knees a little closer together or further apart. I want you to focus on your breath. Bring ourselves up. <clears throat> We're gonna lie down on your backside. Lie down on your backside. Hands long at your sides, feet flat on the floor. Let's lift up and find your bridge position. So engage your glutes. If you want, you can stay here at the top or dip your hips halfway down and up. Always wanting to focus on that extension work here as well. Breathing. And then when you're ready, let's just hold it at the top. Pressing your shoulder blades firmly into the floor. Fingertips reaching towards your heels. Not putting any added pressure on your neck. Breathing. And let's rest your hips down. Let's go into happy baby so you can grab the inside of the balls of your feet or your toes, your big toes. And then keeping our knees bent, you can rock side to side if that's comfortable for you. And just allow yourself to just be playful and carefree right here. While we also get a little st <clears throat> stretch through our hip area. And let's just hug our knees into our chest, quiet our body. If you want a little deeper stretch, you can tuck your chin to your chest and slightly flex forward. And lower your upper body down. Roll to your side. And then gently press yourself up to a seated position. Now you can prop yourself onto a chair or your couch, or you can sit on the floor if that's comfortable as well. Let's inhale, reach our arms up. Exhale, twist and rotate. And then just hold to your gaze. Chest is tall, hips are square. And inhale back to center, exhale, switch, rotate, opposite side, hold. And inhale, reach center, gather in all your goodness, and exhale, draw hands to heart. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed our little yoga routine. 
Have a great rest of your day.